Hi everyone! In this video, we will be creating a simple number guessing game in Python using while loops, if statements, and the random number function. I hope you enjoy it. To get random numbers in our code, we will use the random function. To do this, simply type import random. To get a random number between a range, we will first store that as a variable. So we'll create a variable called random underscore num. And then we'll use a random function. So random dot rand int. Int stands for integer. And then our range, we can do 1 through 20. So this line of code is basically generating a random number between 1 and 20 and storing that value as a random num. We will also create a variable for the number of tries we have. To do that, we can have tries equals five. So we'll have five tries to guess the number. A while loop is a very common form of loop in many programming languages. A while loop essentially repeats a line of code until a certain parameter is reached. We will use a while loop in our game to count down the number of tries we the user has entered. We will start our while loop by typing while tries is greater than zero and then colon and now we're in our while loop inside our while loop we will first ask the user to enter a number between 1 and 20 and store that variable as num this will keep on repeating till tries is less than zero now we will check if the number is greater than less than or equal to the random number that is generated to do this, we will use an if statement, a concept we learned previously. We will type if num is greater than the random number, then we will print too high since the number is greater than the random number. We will also decrease the tries by one. To do this, we'll do tries equals tries minus one. Similarly, we will do the same thing for the number being less than the random number. Instead of too high, we'll type too low, and we'll also decrease the tries by one. Now, we will check if the number that the user entered is equal to the random number. We will have an if statement. So if num equals equals random number, then we will print you guessed it. To display the total guesses, we will type print total guesses colon and then outside the, the quotation marks a comma six minus tries we use a six so we can count the last try and then after that we'll have a break statement this is basically exiting the while loop so it doesn't ask the user to guess another number after you've guessed it finally outside the while loop we will check if the tries is equal to zero if it is then we'll tell the user that they ran out of tries to do this, we'll have an if statement. So if tries equals equals zero, then we'll print sorry you ran out of tries. Our code now works. Let's test it. We can run the code by pressing F5 or hitting run at the top of the Ideally, so now it's asking for the user to enter a number. So I'll type seven. It's saying it's too low. So then we'll try 15. It's too low again. We'll try 19. It's too high. So then we'll try 17. It's too low. So then it must be 18. You guessed it and I guessed it in five tries. Let's see what will happen when we run out of tries. So if we enter 10, it's too low, so we'll enter 9. 
then eight, seven, six. Since we had five tries, it says, sorry, you ran out of tries. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and I'll make sure to leave the source code in the description. Stay tuned for my next video and see you next time. Bye.